machines. Se uwa factory. Ana se uwa industrial machines. Na ase na mwenye ubiya mani siye se mamwa. Solution ya bako pe. Zico Plus Enterprise. Omu wagana hea. Se bado installation. Any maintenance ya juma dia. Omu demu fuwa. Uye kopene na pe se ukra ifidi eba gana suwa. Omu dia afraye. Fise ya wa engineers. Omu oh, sasu ya expert. So pe so ya installation biya. Disposable bottle filling machines. Extruder machines. Poly printing machines. Sasha water packaging machines. Kena jacuzzi. In fact machine biya. Afraye. Afraye suya sa ya kodi no. Se code aba top machine suwa. Afraye. Ya be clear no one time. Esa ifidi ya isi ya sininti no. So pe so ya plombe na. E hao hon. Omu dia afraye. Zico Plus Enterprise. Mie beba. Se found the pipe. And now say a deep beer in your family. Yeah, installation, any maintenance. Who's your problem beer? It's a say in your juma. So best way your swimming pool. Water treatment. And now say boho no. Or body and fray. 050 061 6319. And 054 052 1663. We are quite a cedar hill. Spot M. Zico Plus Enterprise. Yeah, demo four. Pat. For 2024 presidential election. Election ya ye kui e ye election a e ya e ye Ghana redaction election na ye kui inti me bo a pro e wo Ghana fanini na me koko situensi biya na ene ya me adi me dru we jaga we constituency ena. Me baha soa se de me ko constituency bia me pese me ka obi abo because of kabo na eba ma gana in mind e ko ye ni e ti na my friend ya me so fo my friend eh ki imams my friend zongo ha him fo my friend asasi wura mu Ni meni na meni na na ni na ya kamo na ya inji ya mai ya mi ya duma ni bedi president sa na bedi Ghana presidency matapu ya abu na ya inji ya mai bu afai inji abaya ya ya bedi se de beka ya 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 ni pamu ya du. And I yet ye mean ye three say a better now could ye also. When you now put in the end, Doctor Bahudu Baumia, any of a big dada, and yes, sir, ye be a no, ye three, ye know, ye will be. On my big dada, dear, said a woman, I'm winning. Wabedi, President, ye in a so evil, me, Juma, and ye will be now over time today, and yes, sir. Ye ni na ye ho, ni njuma. Obeti na kuni ano so. Anche ni ano kaitre se namne ni na asa na akado pi. Samo kai. Do do peninti, do peninti ena chok umpona school mu na e ye problem. Teacher training allowance okay mu. Nursing training allowance. Okay. Yet that doom some of a nine plus. Some of them. A juma baby say a doom some. Never baby say. Now national health insurance. A year juma be. Now cash and carry. Now you go. Ambulance service. Now a good year. Now Ghana and Ghana, you were 37 ambulances. Now you were also. Sam Reno, you were two of them. 2016. Now Ghana forecast said, when to me, you know, they are here in the free one. MP before, you share both said, you know, you don't know your back, a buy more. You have the free senior high school education. Eba baga, ama ubiya. You can't say you have the free senior high school education ever. Oma mpenye dada kaitre and say, ya dada agana fu. O say emba so, eh ye 419, promise na ye ne kino. O ka eno so, ena ye di ye class, ye ki di se, ya mi adu. It is possible. It is possible. 
Keka Sano, Yabaye, a Bible twenty seventeen. And now, my baby, Missami said, Free years, he bit me as she has said, twenty seventeen. I'm a senior, you bit me as she has said. And I have two pregnant women, and I have she has said. If you were dreaming the last eight years, our children have gone to free senior high school. The last eight years, Ghana in a free senior high school education. Ocean Africa, the lead. Free senior high school education for all. From independence to 2016. Now, 800,000 senior high school students, 800,000, 60 years of independence, 800,000. share senior high school education. Seven years, I jumped from 800,000 to 1.4 million students. 1.4 million. I today say, 60 years of independence, 800,000. Just seven years of free SHS, you get 600,000 acres. So, a dresser now, for that, the great school fees, the tea, or when to make more. When I did put to help, and then I did have fellow who said, Mamma. Omo course in your high school, and then Omo Dorsu, see the Emanoa, Omo was in your high school. More girls than boys. 2016, for every 100 boys, there were 68 girls. 2023, for every 100 boys, you have 106 girls. Now, and also the performance. In senior high school, a picture. They are doing very well. We have what C core six subjects are. 2016 pass rate 45 percent. 2023 pass rate 64 percent. And we are scoring amongst the best in West Africa. Top three students in West African examination council exams. Top three, all from Ghana. All from the West Africa, the whole of West Africa, it is a performance, a person. I wish you a time for my opinion that I work on. That's your yeah, problem. And then you are taught computer tablets. You have to every single senior high school student. Every single student. They have tablets. Are all textbooks in our also teachers who so edge laptops and the address is your court ticket. Address is your court ticket. It is your no court ticket. You are starting STEM schools and AC science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. You see, our schools, no more, but I go have a way up by way up. You see, you read at least six of them. In Ghana, you hear, and we are building more. That is the direction now. Yeah. Now, and then, well, we say, yeah, the free SHS is about, but the engineer home, yes, so yeah, we say, in San Juno area, technical and vocational education, skills are important. It is the free technical and vocational education. And you are investing six billion Ghana cities in the last seven years in technical and vocational education. Ten technical universities. We have equipped them and then the vocational institutes, state of the art equipment. Yet they are now going in the Obusian Sa and Samuel. Yet the teacher training allowance are which you are doing. Yet they are not doing. Yet you are doing. Nursing training allowance are which you are doing. 
ADW, ATO, and then National Health Service, National Health Insurance. A page up. First, not a group. And then a page up. Yeah, cover three main problems. One, childhood cancer. Childhood cancer is now covered under National Health Insurance. Two, sickle cell sufferers. I know that I was in the leading negotiation for the sickle cell sufferers. A drone will hop. I had the other. Say, a poor sickle cell sufferers. Your friend of hydroxyurea. Meet your team in Canada. Manufacturers know that could be what we are in negotiation. And then, what the other Ghana, we are, it's a very expensive drug. But it's the best for sickle cell sufferers in the world. You see, yes, you have it. And see, we have covered it under National Health Insurance to help sickle cell sufferers. The third one, I hear, I hear, kidney dialysis for people above 16 and under 18. They are also getting it for free under National Health Insurance. 18. The National uh, Health Insurance Scheme. Yeah, the other um, in, um, initiatives are better to, to ask one constituency, one ambulance, any platform for food and jobs, you know, any one district, one factory. You know, and the so called development fund, so APA. The first time in the history of Ghana you have a vehicle for the development of the Zongo communities. Let me see that. Yeah, yeah, over 200 projects. You yeah, see over seven, about 75 schools. You yeah, made 45 of the schools completed in the Zongo communities. There are more than 1,000 scholarships from the Zongo communities. 1,000 scholarships. Yeah, the 40 students have from Cuba from the Zongo communities to study medicine. We will be here next year. No more happen. We are the 40, so I can I could give no more messages. Yeah, no deliberate policy to develop the inner cities and the Zogu communities. AG Usha. Now Ms. Mebayano with the digitalization of the economy. Digitalization, no. And yet, then I share. Now, 14 years ago, and I made a book. We draw a book on Africa, where Africa should be going. That time, no, I was at Oxford University. And I made a sad book, no. where Africa and Ghana, we should be headed. And then the culture the book on the draw said, the world we are seeing now is going digital. This 14 years ago. In the Africa, for, for economic development, Africa needs to go digital. Because problems not the great war, but the digital shape one now are solving immediately. In the, that was 14 years ago. The church will go say the Asian pa identity Ghana card. The here pa address system. The here pa mobile money interoperability. This is 14 years ago. I'm naming you pa abai mu. Minyenye vice president. Eti yaba abai mu. First order of business, we see, let's go digital. In the Ghana card, in here, passes say, in the book, say the Ghana card, no, even more. But yesterday, yes, I say, and it will be the TRC. But who may go digital? Who is it? A man who has a whole digital revolution, the one who he has to be a digital identity. Ubiya has to have a digital identity. When only digital identity are ultimately participating in the digital economy. Eighteen Ayaka said, Yeah, issue with digital identity, Emma Ubiya. Yashia said, and then Ghana, 
we are living in Africa. We are issuing 18 million digital identities. I'm a Ghanaian. And in Ghana, say, say, you want digital database, national ID database, digital database, one of the first countries in Africa to reach this stage. United States, they don't yet have it. United Kingdom, they don't yet have it. EU has given all their countries up to 2030 to issue digital identities. But sometimes we don't even appreciate when we make this type of progress in, in, in this. And not only uh, say, yeah, yeah, digital identities. You are starting to say, the children who are born, just as a brochure of Moye, who are Kalaha, Yabamano, Ghana ID number. And then, not only the Ghana card, but Yabamano, birth certificate at the same time. National ID database integrate with birth and death registry and Ghana Health Service. So you are here to you are integrating and then who are Aha. We just go. We don't call hospital. So I call them. We don't call way in because by the time our way in, way in, no now what what to the deed that outdoor no would have taken place. So who call way in? What one? You have now two IDs for the child, birth certificate and national ID at the same time. I don't know any country in the world, the whole world. I don't know any country. I hear you. Birth certificate, national ID at the same time. Ah, good day, good day, ma'am. Sir, and then Ghana card, you know, you are going to register Ghana card, you know, for international civil aviation organization. And the Ghana card is now recognized across 44,000 borders and airports in the world. 44,000. Oh, the Ghana card is no more. Anywhere in the world, America, China, Saudi Arabia, Canada, Australia, Japan, and a passport, Echo Yera, who went to be a Ghana card, Afro Plain, Africa. The whole of Africa, the whole of Africa, only Ghana has that card that can respond to the only Ghana, the whole of Africa. We are the only ones that have that card that is recognized in 44,000 airports around the world. And actually, before the end of this year, but they set up e-gates Ewokotoka International Airport. E gates. The church said, Uwa Ghana card. Ena utu kwa ena uba Ghana. And he has a uko immigration here. Ube ko e gates. Now the Ghana card and to me. finger print. Na a bi. Na uchi. And next year, next year, at the time Nyamiyadu Moye the president, passport application will be easy for us. Passport application will be easy. Because we share passport form, I will be submitting a gym passport. Information in our Ghana card. In Tigu or Ghana card, from next year, no passport application form.
Mm -hmm. You will buy that and you will teach every information that will be done like So we will talk about information. We will use one centralized information and we will print you a passport for you. No matter what, you will get your passport. We buy it, we buy it. Some of the time we said, you needed a unique identity. You also needed address system. Now you need address. You need address system. Because just a woman will be a cooker. We are all told like, you know, I'm alright. No, I'm not. You're buying it, you see. You share it, you see. You're not competing. Because this type of address system, by the way, it will take too long. You're not competing. And uh, you get a digital address system. At that time, only one country in the whole world had a digital address system complete. And we say Ghana will be the next. It is possible. It is possible. And then Ghana has done a complete digital address system. Who could be here? digital address. However, who here in the directions view? Because at the phone, so the the And yes, sir. Very, very simple. And Ghana is the second country, the whole world, to have a digital address system. The whole world. We are the second country. The whole world. And now, since the UK is now thinking about going for the digital address system, the UK is now thinking about it. We are the second country in the whole world. So we, every house, anywhere in Ghana, farm, on water, or land, has a digital address. So, and then, all the Ubers and Yangos and all of that, uh, said digital addresses no who you see. Now, and the IF, taxi drivers will have. Who will have? Taxi drivers be the who yeah. I'm a country and say, Uber, any yanko, any boat, no more who come with you. Say, say, Uber, any boat, no more for digital. But yet, taxi drivers live here. Still, you say, who call station? And I say, who will you? And yes, sir. Yes, sir. You want to know. It's in America, you say, you say, new software and my local taxi drivers. So that also no more operate like the Ubers and the Bulls and all of that. And there I have said, we have finished the work on the local the app for the taxi drivers. And before I ever to about, or maybe sometime next month, we have launched the new app. For local taxi drivers. Now you can order your local taxi because at the end of the day, any time you have far bold and now Uber, you have to go abroad because it is not a local uh, application. Any time you have far bold, you have to go abroad. But you have a local application that you cannot ever cut down a hat. Now you have to buy it all the time. If you have a new instrument, you will test it as we speak. We will launch it by next month, if not this month. We will launch it for all guardians. Now you see a local app for the taxis are more than. They are also in some, in some, they buy it. Now, who said the key? I will remind you that almost everybody will bank account, and it's very important. Say the third issue I've been tackling here in the issue is say how the Ebenya bank account am I ubia or Ghana? Any part of the one that will mobile money accounts, but mobile money accounts are not your one. Now. Who are Vodafone? I want to be Manisi Kama will be our MTN. Now who are MTN? I want to be Manisi Kama will be our Airtel 
Tibo. Out to me, you see, come free bank account to move into mobile account or from mobile account to a bank account. Eighty nine, yeah, yeah, mobile money, no matter your limit. Eighty nine, we can say, yeah, yeah, dear, your friend of mobile money interoperability. Say, you always be easy to from bank to move from one telephone to the other. The car, you know, you probably say, me boy, and get you back. It is not possible because no country in Africa had done it. No country in Africa had done it. It is possible. It is possible. It is possible. It is possible. You can take money from a bank account to a mobile account, from a mobile account to another telco. Uh, it's working perfectly. And Ghana is the first country in the whole of Africa to, do, to be able to do this. The whole of Africa. We are the first country to do this type of mobile money interoperability. Now, um, a, a friend of mine was telling me, said, will be every money in Obaha. Now, we who said, boy, he had the transactions on his mobile phone. Now, <laughs> he was so fascinated. He said, God, it's me. Because even in Canada, even in the United States, yes, even in Canada and also the United States, they don't have the interoperability. And then they are beginning to talk about interoperability by the Federal Reserve in the United States. In Ghana, we are moving ahead uh, of many, many countries. Uh, and now to mobile phones, so we bet me renew national health insurance. No we do. We bet me to electricity credit, no matter the time of day or night. First, you know, who will feel that we will credit sir, at the weekend night? This is okay. Now we call it CG Monday. Now I can start lying. And yes, sir. And then who are China? Now we feel credit, sir. From China, you can buy credit for your house in China. Medical drones are mobility, a drone air core, moja, because remote areas and we hope we a full number worker. He needs immediate anti snake serum. Now, drones no be to me up a drone up a dropping. Me papa we are 2202 Watamale. Now, yeah, yeah, no operation. Now, yeah, yeah, moja. Seriously. You call blood bank now. The panatu to the no no coffee. Yeah, to share no higher money. By the morning, now we prepare you. Eighty. The the bar office now we make tea. Say America, we want the technology be a by drone technology. Say drones now we want to be the drone aqua remote areas. The sorry, we need the team. You call San Francisco. Now you know what she are in a country of the same. technology, no, you hear no Ghana because people are just because of blood, just because of anti snake cell medicine. Any time of day or night, you should be a person who will back home. So, we are setting up six drone centers for Ghana. We are delivered to 2,900 hospitals around Ghana and health clinics. And uh, every time, uh, six centers, no? average flights a day, uh, yes, 100 flights on average every day, oh uh, yeah, to different parts. Uh, and <laughs> even recently, several months here, a front place when there was flooding and they had to write PEC exams, the drones took the exam papers and dropped them in a front place for them to write their. Uh, and then, 
Uh, it's so nice to see that Enek Ghana is the largest medical drone delivery service in the whole world. Ghana, the whole world, is the largest medical drone delivery service in the whole world. Recently, Kamala Harris, U.S. Vice President, she was praising Ghana for the lead that we have taken. And they are also about to start it in the United States of America. But we went to bring the technology from them, but we have gone, we are taking the lead. And we are the largest in the whole world. And, and we are saving lives every day with this technology. And then, in Ghana, First, you know, to hospital. Now, thank you, I said, who fold up, I hear that, you do know who fold up. Say, who I hear that. who fold up, I hear that. Me too, it's hard to know, I'm going to say, let's digitalize all the patient records in all the hospitals. So, you are starting the health project, me. Ah, get it. So, say, you hear all the teaching hospitals, all the regional hospitals, all the district hospitals in Ghana, we have digitalized all the patient records. And by next year, it may be up to the chip compounds. But and then, and then, you refer you from Wa to Kolebua. You don't need a folder. You just need your ID number. Over Kolebia, not the amount. No, don't put it in the computer, and all your medical records will show to the doctor. You don't need any more. The folder cannot get missing because it's in the computer. And Ghana is the first country, the whole of Africa, to do this thing in health. First country in the whole of Africa. And by the way, they don't have it in the United States. Because we are now moving ahead of them. So it is possible. It is possible. And the said an air call. And then me boss the time eh, in December. Yes, you need to so the person. We are moving in a particular direction. And we have to continue in that direction. I don't want us to go back. We are making major, major strides. We need to move forward. We don't need to go backwards. Anything I'm a person it's very, very important, say. It becomes a priority in my government. Because PBR, yeah, 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 three or four are the most in Ghana in terms of employment. North, East, South, West, the largest sector in agriculture. A three or four year, yeah, Ghana, so the year. Now, who year, yeah, in the other course, ever before, I'm a year now. And I want to support agriculture. So the year, yeah, yeah, and fishing. So the year, yeah, for example, yeah, the FDR for every district for roads. We are going to do the same for every district for agricultural equipment for the farmers to use, to, for the fishermen to use. So yeah, the technology, the better which The second major thing I'm interested in, the percentage of the share of the not electricity bill, no, but for the Solar power, and yet, 
next four years, I'm bringing 2,000 megawatts. Yet the year is yet the electricity bill, the paper for by 50 percent. The paper for by 50 percent. The adjustment is the facility public transport phase for the buffer. Public transport no, is very high. It is, we can say you are moving towards electric vehicles, electric buses, in terms of the metro mass and all others. You are more electric. It is, some spare parts in the home, fuel price in the home. So the cost of public transport will come down by 40% if we go electric. We are trying to say, yeah, we have done before I have told them, we want to bring in a hundred electric buses as a pilot so that we'll be able to know how it is working. So we are we are ordering the, the buses. Yeah, we have done before I ever told about the first hundred will arrive and then the people of Accra will see how this is working. But a very wide power because every time now oil prices go up, then we increase prices here. Throughout the airport, not from the world, we are going to change it and go there. The airport should be in sun. Ah, it is a member say, made it back Ghana. A policy for business and jobs. We shall, yeah, never be a mope, a juma eye. But one of the problems I hear want to say, government, and never be very yet talk, we import them. We import them. We don't order them from Ghanaian friends. You call China now, they are there, they are there, all the time. But we did, she said, for forever, a friend will buy Ghana first policy. Buy Ghana first. We hear government mentor, first look for it in Ghana. We are putting a law to back it. Buy Ghana first. Open, say, you to told uniforms. Huh? We have tailors. We have firms that can sue. Buy Ghana first. Buy imported from our people. If it's furniture, we have carpenters. Buy Ghana. It's only when you cannot find in Ghana that you should import. That will be the law. And when we do that, you know, we will create jobs for our youth. And we will be uh, in Ghana. So buy Ghana. They are also, you know, yeah, the new tax system is about the poor businesses. Because businesses may be who are mine soon now will create many disputes between GRA and the business community. They can come and lock up your shop and you don't even understand what tax you are supposed to pay. It, um, we studied the tax systems across the world. And then we found out that the best tax system in the world was the Estonian tax system. Estonia. The last 10 years in a row, we are number one in terms of the most competitive tax system in the whole world. 10 years in a row. It will be found in the team. And we have called Estonia. We have a president, we have a prime minister, finance minister, and tax commissioner. In our, we had meetings. But all this is the very aggressive. And a flat tax system. And a 10 percent we are profit, we are profit, I know it we are 10%. We are income, I know it we are 10%. So we are actually calculating the tax and knows how to comply. Very, very simple system. When you say church is no, how much it tight, and yes, sir. It's a simple system. It's a flat tax system. So that is a lot of people say, hey, church is your way, you know. <laughs> they, they, they've known this for a long time. The tax system is a flat tax system. And so Ghana may be introducing new tax system, which is a flat tax system next year, for all businesses and individuals to be very simple. And so that we all start on a clean slate and offering a tax amnesty to all businesses and to all individuals, and we will all start no Ghana with GRA. We will all start from afresh and we will move forward with a tax amnesty. And then I'm taking the flat tax system to the port. The port is another area where it is not clear. 
you will, your goods, you think you are going to pay uh, 20,000 cities, the goods arrive and you are paying 40,000 cities. You don't understand. It, you have the new flat tax system in cities, in cities, airport port, no? a 40 foot container. You know the spare parts is 20,000. No matter when it arrives, it's 20,000 flat in cities. So you don't have any difference to say. Exchange rate has changed, so go and pay more. It's in cities and it's a flat tax. Then also, you cannot have a higher duty in Ghana than in Togo. That will be, Togo will be our benchmark. Our duty cannot exceed Togo. If it exceeds Togo, there will be smuggling from Togo. So we'll stop the smuggling. It will be the same or it will be lower and it will be a flat tax. We are going to move this country to a different level. Yeah, said as far as governance is concerned, the Pacific tree ahead of you. The chiefs closer to government. We have made a mistake since independence. Yet they say you my without the chiefs. We tend to put the chiefs aside and we try to govern this country. It doesn't work. I want to bring the chiefs closer to government. I want to bring the chiefs closer to government. 80, maybe amend section 63 of the Chieftaincy Act. Give more powers to the chiefs. There are many matters that are moving to be unsettled in your palaces. They don't need to go to court. You can settle them in your palaces. And we, we, we can help you do that. The, the second thing is that if you look at the chieftaincy, currently we only pay paramount chiefs, and it's very little. But to, for you to help us, we have to empower the palaces. So we are going to pay paramount chiefs, queen mothers, and divisional chiefs in addition, so that we empower the palaces, so that you can help us to help you. I'm also going to bring the churches and the Islamic institutions closer to government. I want, I believe that we share in Juma churches, no area, Islamic institutions, yeah, yeah. schools are almost seen, hospitals are almost seen, and yet it will. But we don't tend to recognize them as development partners. But in fact, they are the number one development partners of government in our country. Number one. And yeah, Prof. How many schools do they do the external ones build? We churches need Islamic institutions, schools in Ghana, Ghana been collapsing. One time, 80. But a prof here any project for Ghana, yes, a development partner made to your duty. And yes, sir. This will be the Sisama. The churches and the faith-based organizations, Islamic, they may reach the community more as development partners. Most of the American, they the development of Ghana. Most of the duty. Most of the duty. But the better now, because sometimes will be the hospital equipment a problem. Now you say go to your duty. Yes, you know, you are a development partner. Ever go again? Madam Brad, duty free. They in a Kenya, the whole castle. So we will bring the churches and the Islamic institutions closer to government. Now, what me have boy? Maybe you just say your mouth about that status. The people who move boy, who move here, if you man don't move, I mean, in a this is just some of the incentives. The Joshua, the person we post on the same, we in a party. In Sema, I mean, I'm not from Abu. We must say LGBTQ plus. Same what? Same man, man to be one man, man to be one man. Sorry, Abu. Embassy, I'm a member of the embassy. Embassy, I'm a member of the embassy. Bamu yada, Bamu yada, China. Sorry, Abu. Never, never, never will be tolerated. Any Quran, any Bible, any tradition, any war. So, young Pirisu, young Pirisu, young Pirisu, China, no matter what the person, no matter the person, you're making our pity, who defend our country, who defend.
defend our values, we will defend our religion, we will defend our culture. So with that matter, we will not allow that practice in Ghana. So that is very clear for us. Under my government, persons with disabilities will go for tertiary education for free. We will get them into tertiary education for free. All persons with disabilities who want to gain more education. And Omu we are, we are setting a quota for recruitment. All public sector recruitment will have a percentage for persons with disabilities so that we will get them into the workforce and then we can help them. They have got very some of the sharpest minds I know of. Some of the sharpest minds. But usually we just discriminate against them. Just discriminate. So we are going to give them positive discrimination and bring them into the workforce and, and help and, and, and the, 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 the youth, you know, so one million youth, even if you are a school dropout, we want to give you training in digital skills because the world is going digital. If we give you training in digital skills, we bet me Aha, we just bang we. Now we hear Juma wa America, we hear Juma wa Canada, we hear Juma wa Australia. Right from here, on your computer, on your laptop, you will be making a lot of money, and you will be you will be taken care of. Drivers, no so when you say driver's license, and then it's valid for six years. Every two years, you have to go and renew. And yes, sir. Yeah, Mr. Samuel. The prices will now be valid for 10 years and you renew every five years. Every five years we will renew and it will be valid for 10 years. And that will give us the space. I am a young man. We want to share the brain. We can now have a manifesto. But we are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. But we are not going to be able to Say, you may go out, Sakans. On the day, or say, or the Coco Kitty Kitty Beba, any 24 hour disco. Nah, Yasa, nah, 24 hour disco, and then Coco Kitty Kitty, and boy, and you, sir, and boy, and Pase, and for a whole different direction, and he, we share a new one. On the day of any president, and he or by Yamranich, he can only be president for four years. Four years, and then he's gone. But he says he'll go honeymoon first before he goes for retirement. For me, Yamiadu, I can be president for eight years. And he, if you give me the vote, I'll work very hard so that I can come back. To make up my way and show you what I have done. And show you what I have done. You will have accountability. I'll give you accountability. But what is also very, very important, they say, maybe a president. I'm a vice president. And you are my is being as a vice president. Obia the Adansia said, Usha Vice President, Aumaba Ghana, Udia Vice President, where you are saying, Obia the Adansia. But the Yenti President, the Yenti President, the Vice President, and Timutu Abano Mamia, Mubenya, brand new Tia Roba President.
Yes, I see a lot.